So with the eclipse coming up, I wanted to create a couple of ways to view the sun with some common household and shop items that I had around. So I wanted a way to project the sun onto something uh, during the eclipse. And of course you can just look up at the sky, these are some glasses I special ordered. And you can look up at the sun and then it's really small and you know you can get these ones as well. Um, but the thing about that is that it's not a really a social event, you're just, just staring, looking up at it. And I wanted something that was like a little bit bigger, that projected it so that more people could gather around and that you could just view it in a larger way. Uh, whether you have a partial eclipse uh, or a full eclipse. So what I did here was that I used a spotting scope. Uh, well you could use a lens uh, or binoculars, however the distance would change. And then I just created some basic holders out of plywood here. I got some rubber bands holding it in place. So I just put a long piece of plywood at the bottom here uh, to keep it in place. And that way, you know, I can either mount it to a, a tripod or I can also put it on my shoulder and kind of use it as a shoulder mount and just find the angle of the sun. Next to it is a piece of like white foam board right here. Um, so then I have the, uh, the end part of the scope is where this, you, know, you look at the sun from and it shines the projection uh, onto here. Um, I added some cardboard around here just to kind of block the sun more and I might even add more on the sides just to uh, block as much light as possible and I also put some duct tape here uh, to make it as tight a fit as possible. Now if you were using this with like a lens for example, you may need to be able to adjust the distance of the lens to focus it. Uh, this has a focus on it um, so I didn't need to worry about that um, but you might want to create something that slides anyway. But I just wanted to create something really quick and basic and simple and see if I could make it work. And it actually works out pretty good and you get a really cool image of the sun. It's especially cool, uh, like last night I put it uh, as the sun was kind of shining through some leaves and then you get that projection on here with the leaves um, on the screen here. And that just looked really cool as well. So anything that is like in the way of the sun um, as you're projecting it down is going to display on here. Now the other thing that you may want to play with is of course photography and taking photos of the eclipse. And in order to do that, um, you're going to need a lens first of all. I special ordered this one. This is a 75 to 300 millimeter. It was pretty cheap, it was like $80. Um, and then of course you need a filter. And if you buy individual filters for specific lenses, it gets really expensive. So what I did instead was to order a filter fabric or a filter material sheet, uh, which is actually the same material that's in the glasses. And then I cut that out the size of a, a regular UV filter uh, that fits this lens and taped it around with black duct tape. And the whole idea here is that I don't care if like some of this, the sides are blocked with duct tape because I'm really just concerned about the middle part because that's where you're going to you know, focus and see that sun part anyway. And when you make a filter, I just realized I put it on the wrong way. Make sure that you have the shiny part outside. Um, like the glasses, they have the shiny part on the outside, so you want the shiny part of a photography filter uh, going outward as well. So these are kind of cool because you can make these for any size filters. And yeah, if you don't have this kind of material on hand, uh, but you do have extra uh, uh, you know, disposable glasses, you can always use this material and create your own filters um, because it's the same thing. But of course, I know that there's a shortage of these glasses and a lot of people don't have the glasses. So if you're in a situation like that, then building something like this, using either a spotting scope or a lens or even binoculars if you put them really far away, um, this is a way to kind of be able to gather around and view it much larger uh, and much clearer in a way um, and have more people doing that. Um, I think actually we're going to use this more than just looking up using glasses because it's kind of like 
I don't know, it's kind of weird. Um, but anyway, when I first started thinking about all this, I was really focused on the photography part and wanting to take that really cool and crisp shot. You know, moon covering the sun during the eclipse. And that's why I got these, this lens and these things. Um, but then I've been thinking lately that there's going to be so many like professional photographers and just people in general focusing on taking that shot. There's going to be so many great shots. Um, and is that something that I really want to focus like my attention on like during the eclipse? Like I will probably play around with it. Um, but as I was thinking about it more, I realized that what I'm really interested in is just taking more cool shots of the whole day and the whole event. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do uh, in addition to that or kind of focus more on is just to put a roll of black and white film in my Pentax camera and then kind of shoot the whole day and everything that goes on and the people I'm with and setting this thing up and just kind of the atmosphere of the whole thing and the whole like experience of the day. Um, so it's kind of like a mental shift there to like, I don't want to be too too focused on the particular photography I just want to enjoy the event. The other thing that struck me when I first thought about the eclipse was that it would be cool to live stream it on YouTube. Um, so then um, I was thinking that I need better Wi-Fi because we're gonna be out in the gazebo and there's not that good of a connection out there. So I got one of these, or I had one of these old Wi-Fi repeaters and that you plug into the wall. Um, so I broke open the case and then rewired it uh, so it can operate on batteries. Um, and I haven't made a, a new case for it yet. Um, I kind of want to 3D print one, um, but we'll see. Um, but then of course, there are also like all these horror stories going around town uh, that there's going to be just be so many people coming here uh, in Corvallis, Oregon, where I live. And so like, who knows if services are even going to work? Are we going to have the internet? Um, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream it. Um, and in general, I just want to enjoy uh, the event in general. Uh, so um, we'll see about the live streaming, whether or not that will happen. Um, but in general, I'm just so excited about this whole thing because this is such a rare, rare event that, yeah, like, it's just so exciting to see it. Um, but of course, something like this spotting scope situation, you can also use to view the sun at any point. And if there's like a transit of Mercury or Venus or any partial eclipse, uh, or any activity like that. Um, so even if you miss this big total eclipse, something like this could be cool in general to build if you want to be able to project the sun on a screen. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys got something out of this video. Uh, let me know if you are viewing the eclipse, if you're planning on traveling or uh, what you are thinking or you're doing any preparations or anything. Um, so yeah, otherwise I want to thank my patrons for supporting my work. I really appreciate it. Um, and thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.